Hello and welcome to Magic AutoCAD. In this part of tutorial, we are going to learn how to dimension and text our 3D drawings. So let's get started. Remember that before doing any dimension of any form, you have to go to the dimension style manager to adjust your dimensions how you want them to be. So in this case, let's uh, type in dim style okay then enter then this dimension style manager is going to pop up then let's come over here to modify let's modify these dimensions then you come up here to text it's already a text then let's adjust these our uh, dimensions to the, the text height okay let's take the text height to 1.18 then now let's go to the color let's drop down and give a green color for visibility then we we'll go now to primary unit primary unit then here let's adjust the precision you drop down the precision let's make our precision at 0 0.01 this mark place then yeah I think that is all for now then okay then you close this one then now in 3d objects you will notice that we can only write or draw or text on x and y axis so in that case we go under coordinate then we drop down this coordinate panel then here you're gonna see face okay you click on face then you go to the face where you want to start dimensioning and then you come to this face then you click on this face enter then here you're going to see that on this face lies y x axis where we can easily text so now you go to annotation okay you click on annotate then this annotate panel is going to drop down then come under dimensions then you drop yeah under dimension you're going to see this other part then from here you're gonna see the linear alignment and so on so in that case let's click on linear so we come here the first point you click on the first point you come down here you click on the second point then you move it to an offset distance and you click now let's go back to the linear then you click here then you click here at the second point then you move it upwards then you click on a certain offset distance then now let's type in order to type we go to text okay just go to the command line text enter then you go to the face where you want to text okay let's come to this face here let's press in this case i would like us to change the color okay i would like us to change the color of the text let's just type in color so that will be it will really be visible okay we go to color and let's select yellow okay okay then now we type in text sorry for that enter then you go to the face where you want to uh, type then you click on the face and then you pull down then you give a text height in this case let's type in one enter enter again then let's bring in this uh, course down below okay there then let's call this uh, face the left okay left then then you click your cursor outside somewhere there then you click the escape button now let's go back to wireframe so that you really see what we did there so if you go to orbit to try to orbit it a bit then you're going to see that all of this lies on 
this left fist okay you're gonna see that this uh, dimension and the text lies directly on this face okay with that let's come back to that point then now let's go back to let's go back to home icon and then we'll go up here on the coordinate to click on face then now let's use this face okay let's use this face we click on this face enter then you go back to dimension annotation then dimension you take linear then here let's click here then bring it here pull it down then let's go back to linear then we click here bring it up pull it outwards then now let's equally type on this other face to see how it works then now text enter then you bring your cursor to the face where you want to text you click there then you give a text height of one enter then enter again and let's bring it down a bit okay let's call this uh let's bring it backward so that will really fit let's call this face front okay enter click your cursor outside click it outside somewhere outside okay and then you press escape then now let's turn orbit to see if it lies on the same plane so you're going to see that the dimensions and our text lies on the same plane okay the same face so from there let's quickly move to the next yeah let's quickly move to the next object take for instance this one is an inclined object on one side so what do you do let's go back to home then we we'll go back to coordinate you click on face let's put it let's base our attention now on this other face okay we click on this face enter then we we'll go back to annotate then we we'll click on linear then let's click here first point second point we'll pull it upward to a distance we'll click here first point second point we'll pull it outwards to a distance then now let's drop down this dimension you see that here is an inclined face okay now you're gonna take the aligned dimension okay you take the aligned dimension then you come here you click here then you click on this other face then it's gonna work like that let's try to obey it to see how it works so here you're gonna see that the dimension lies on the same face where we did the dimensioning so with that let's come back let's come back okay escape let's go back home okay now in order to dimension this one i would like us to to go back to home let's put it on realistic okay on realistic now we go back to coordinate and you click on face let's first of all dimension this other face so where no matter wherever you click your cursor okay this x y axis must always lie along the circular face so let's click it here then enter then you're gonna see that the x y axis lies on this surface then now before dimensioning make sure your snap cursor is at uh, it's either snap at the center or tangent okay yeah so let's quickly go back now we'll go now to annotate 
and we drop down this you see that this one is a linear dimension because it's strictly vertical so we'll go to an to linear then let's come here we can click here on the center okay then come here then you're gonna see another center point here that's why I say you activate the center or or uh, the tangent then you click here then you pull it out then you're gonna realize your dimensions then now what about dimensioning the radius up this way we we'll go back to home then you come to face click on face then let's bring it up here carefully click it up here then enter okay you're gonna see that we have the x y plane line on this top face then now let's go to annotate then you go to uh let's drop down then here you're gonna see radius okay radius let's click on radius then this first this outermost radius this outermost circle let's click on this outermost circle then here you're gonna see that the radius of this outermost circle is 1.5 then we we'll go back to radius then we click now on this innermost circle click there then you're gonna see that here is one the radius here is one so now let's try to orbit and see what we've got so far then so if you orbit here now you're gonna see that all the dimensions lies on the same plane okay all the dimensions and the text lie on the same face so i hope that tutorial was helpful you can normal face problems with dimension so if that being the case then please we stop here don't forget to subscribe to my channel thanks very much